Well, Buzz, I graduated in 76, and um, I had the honor of playing for him that summer in the Olympics in 1976. Wow. Thank God he was the coach, because I probably wouldn't have made the team <laughs> if he wasn't. You would have made it. Um, you know, so to play an extra seven, eight week, weeks, you know, for Coach Smith and Coach Guthridge, and that's how I got to know Coach John Thompson, because I had just gotten drafted by the Washington Bullets, so I knew where I was going to go play professional basketball. You know, my future was pretty much outlined for me. I, I understand for a lot of kids, you know, they're working on their first job or they don't know what the future holds for them. But, you know, by the end of my junior year, I felt I would play professional basketball. At least that's what Coach told me. Uh, so my transition, you know, was, was pretty easy. You know, Washington is five hours north, and oh, I moved there, bought a new car, and um, Coach would write me letters, you know. We'd on top of it, yeah. play at Maryland, you know, I'd go to the game. My roommate in Washington was Kevin Grevy, <laughs> who's a huge Kentucky fan, <laughs> right? And every year at that time, Carolina played Kentucky, and Kevin works for us now. All right. And when we played Kentucky, at least when I did, we beat them three out of four times. But Kevin says, <laughs> "There's other way." <laughs> he's, no, no. He says, "Well, he didn't play in one of those games because he graduated." So he says, "There's only two or three. <laughs> oh, my! Tra you know, it's interesting you talk about the Olympic team. I remember being in camp, and Coach Smith introduced you guys in front of the campers. Wow. And I thought Carmichael, Carmichael didn't have air conditioning. And you guys were pretty, it was pretty hot, pretty That's intense right. in there in, in the y'all's workouts. But I remember seeing everybody up there on the, in front of the, the campers. So well, it was July. Yeah, it was July. That's right. <laughs> uh, my transition was, it's kind of interesting. Uh, as, as I played with Coach Smith, I was always intrigued how things that we were doing would take people out of their offense, whatever. And just kind of sitting on, you know, as you're sitting on the bench sometimes listening to him, that's where I kind of got intrigued. And I told him when I got done that uh, I, I, would, I wouldn't mind coaching. I wouldn't mind looking at it. He says, you're crazy to do that. Why don't you think of something else? So I said, no, I like to try it. Uh, but I was, I did the year out, uh, went to yeah, Cleveland. You, you are a great high school player. I mean, well, I thank mean, you. Thank I mean, you. Well, at least you know, that's my well, understanding. Well, Michael gives me a hard me. time because getting the player of the year. Michael, well, you were the player of the year in the state. Yeah, but Michael tells everybody there's seven major newspapers in North Carolina. My dad owns six of them. <laughs> that's why I got it. But there's no. But you truth. got hurt, right? Got hurt my sophomore year. You blew out your ACL. ACL, that, yeah, yeah. But they then, didn't know how to repair back then, really. <laughs> so things didn't go the way I wanted. But it's still, I graduated, had a, you know, an enjoyable career, and wanted to coach. And um, I, I did the Cleveland Cavs, did the CBA, did the uh, overseas, and came back and started coaching. And you know, what was interesting about it is, along the way, Coach Smith helped you out. I mean, I was at App State for two years, then I replaced Dave Hanners at East Tennessee State. So Coach Smith got me over there, so Dave came to Chapel. I went over there. When I left there, I went with Les Robinson to the other place over in Raleigh, the coach, yeah. the NC State. The other, the other place. Right? Yeah, and Jeff Lebo took my place. So, you know, Coach Smith's so, so much involved in our careers. Right. I'll never forget him telling me after, App after Appalachian State, I was the head coach there, I took the Tulsa job. And he said, that's the toughest job in the country. I said, why, Coach? He said, Bill Self won 30-some games, and they expect that again. I'm very fortunate a lot of those guys returned and uh, we were able to win some games and went from Tennessee from there. But uh, he was so involved. But I got so intrigued by how what we did in practice took people out when it came to that game situation. And he wasn't, if I recall, we didn't watch a lot of our opponents' tapes. He wanted us to focus on what we did oh, yeah, yeah, we and did how we could get better right. and improve and be more concerned about our, our team and yourself as individuals. Yeah, I think they watched the tapes on they the opponents, the but they didn't let us watch it. On reel to reel. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and Coach Guthrie would have the with that clicker. The clicker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> with the tape. Yeah. It wasn't tape actually. It was film. It was film. It was that nine, nine millimeter yeah. or whatever it was. They'd and, slice it and then they would put it together and they'd make a highlight out of that. And they would go in the film room, and they'd have that clicker. It goes back and forth, like back fork. and forth, back yeah. and forth. Yeah. That's how we learn. And God forbid you make a mistake and the room get really quiet and the <laughs> coach <laughs> just starts hitting that clicker oh, and you know what's coming next. Yeah.